Five months ago, we made four purple heart tables and applied a different finish to each table. The competition included Odie's Oil, Rubio Mono Coat, and Vestings USA. Our shop specializes in tables and countertops, so our goal was to see which finish would offer our customers the best product. If you'd like to learn more about each of these finishes and see how we applied them, be sure to check out the first video. With any hardwood product, there are always three things to consider. Water damage, scratches, and UV damage. Indoor tables experience all three in various levels depending on use and location. These tables were subjected to a torture test, which accelerated the results of all three types of damage. To ensure equal treatment, the tables were rotated every week, and I also asked the customer not to put any maintenance oil on them. This is how they were treated. I'm going to start off with Odie's Oil, as this is the finish I wanted to win because it's the easiest to apply and in our opinion provided the best looking finish before they were tested. Well, Odie's Oil did the worst. One of the reasons Purple Heart tables were the perfect test subjects is because of the hardwoods reaction to the elements. Purple Heart turns gray from moisture and dark brown from UV. Odie's oil is the only one that has the claim to be waterproof. However, it was the only one to experience moisture damage. It also had the most scratching. Frankly, it looked the worst and had the most damage overall. In third place came Vesting's Air Dry Oil, the direct competition with Odie's and Rubio. It did not have any visible water damage, However, it had almost as many scratches as Odie's oil. Second place is held solid by Rubio Mono Coat. This table had noticeably less scratches than Odie's oil or Vesting's air dry oil. It also looked significantly better to my eyes. Vesting's USA LED oil outperformed by a mile. It barely had any scratches on it and it looked the best. It wasn't even close. This is a bulletproof finish. In conclusion, based off the results of this experiment, we are going to switch to Rubio Monocoat and ditch Odie's oil for most of our products. However, we are going to invest in a laser and we are going to offer the Vestings LED oil finish for an additional fee. I'd love to hear your feedback and opinions in the comments below. Stay tuned. Thank you.